Right, so, okay, good morning and thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I'm back here at 4 Golf Chester and we're about to get into some more product testing. A real interesting one because it's a new driver from Srixen. And if I'm honest with you, I was about to do a top five drivers of 2018, just a matter of a few weeks back. And I heard that Strixon were bringing out a new driver. I also heard some really good reports and reviews that this thing might be pretty decent. So I've held off doing that top five drivers just to see how good this Strixon driver is. Only one way to find out, get that camera moved out into the bay, get it in some golf balls and see how this thing performs in the hands of the average golfer. Right, okay, so uh, as with all these reviews, let's just give you a little bit of information first on the shaft that I've chose to use. It's the 10 side blue 60 um, stiff shaft. So again, something I'm familiar with using lots of drivers this year and it's arguably turned out to be the best performing shaft in most of the drivers, like I said, that I've tried this year. So that's what we're going to go with, with the Z785 driver from Strixon. Before I go into any more detail and start hitting some golf balls, let's give you my opinion, at least on the looks. And I'm going to start from on top of the crown, which is where the majority of us, that's what we'll see sat behind the golf ball. Very much classic in its looks. It's a high gloss finish. Little two markings to center the ball. Nothing too exciting going on from the top. It's got this sort of carbon imprint that we've seen on quite a few drivers. From the underneath, red and black finish. There's some weighting that you can visibly see there. It's kind of all right in terms of the bottom end of it. It's nothing too, uh, there's nothing much going on there to talk about. But like I said, visually from the top, it's a classic teardrop looking golf club golf driver and i like this kind of classic look not too much going on into what strixen have to say in terms of what technology they put into this driver that might help right so it starts off it's all about the face it's stronger it's lighter and it's faster uh, they've actually called it the ti 51 af which just rolls off the tongue uh, cut face which produces exceptional ball speed for greater distance we shall soon see uh, the crown is a lightweight carbon crown uh, moves mass from the to the perimeter for more forgiving and more accurate drives well that's something i'm certainly more interested in very much interested in uh, lots of adjustability in this driver as well and i suggest as ever that uh, you spend plenty of time looking at getting custom fit for this driver um, as i said in the last two reviews that i've done on products i'm going to change things up slightly um, Give you some immediate feedback in terms of what i think the performance does out there from what i see what i feel and then we'll have a brief look at the data that i'm going to record on gc2 and uh, with tp5 golf balls so like i say not much waffle going on i'm afraid it's straight into hitting some golf balls and see what i can get out this uh driver which like i said first and foremost in terms of looks classic looks and uh suits suits my eye Never talked about the loft, I've got this about nine and a half degrees and it's very much a standard setting. Um, so there's no, not any major tweaks in terms of, like I said, there's plenty of adjustability with this club and not done a lot with it um, at this stage. It's just the standard, uh, standard positioning. Decent start though, noticeably high ball flight. Well, good carry, what I can see from going out there. like a bullet and that's a long carry just looking at where that is uh, as pitched to um, this is long and again I go back to you know drawing opinions of how a golf club performs and we look at data as being the be-all and end-all really in reviews and yes it has a major part to play but I can see where that ball's landing I mean assuming it's a very still day here so there's no wind assisting uh, so you can get an idea from where you normally hit I hit out of here you know as you know uh, at least once a week I know where a driver lands for me and carries to and this is this is long at least based on those first two performance slow down and don't get excited Another slightly higher ball flight and a decent carry as well. My tees are flying all over the place, so uh, keep disappearing. Right, let's see if we can finish off with a good one and then let's do some kind of assessments here. That is solid. 
solid probably the best swing that i put on uh, this morning uh, let's see like i said i'm gonna be greedy and see if i can find one more of those because that was uh, like i said by far the best swing i've put on the club today so you can get one more just to finish and again decent ball decent ball flight looks pretty decent to me in terms of i'm using this word decent i don't know where that's come from interesting to know what those numbers say but from what i can see out there visually we found a lot of fairways in terms of the drives that i've just hit on camera maybe leaked one a little bit out uh, far right that would have uh, perhaps not made it but in the amount of shots that i've hit and i'll continue hits who hit some more to try and grab uh, a little bit more of uh, a better data capture but again like i said yesterday i could end this driver review quite quickly and uh, right here and now but we'll go and have a look at some numbers first right data going straight up in front of you now and uh, let's make this very very brief indeed but here we go um so first of all let's look at ball speeds that we just achieved 144 ball speed uh, 2375 spin peak height 38 uh, carrying at 247 as with all like i said about data it's very important to have but i could have literally relayed that information uh, pretty much i wouldn't have got the carry distances right but i knew this was performing well from what i was hitting out there and i, I think it's fair to say i wasn't swinging it at my best today uh, so that gives even more credibility in my opinion to this uh, that, that's my opinion at least any of our swinging it. look at ball speed again throw this back up on screen now very very consistent indeed uh, one well, there was a 141142 uh, in there, but very, very consistent up in that 143, 144 mark. Again, launch, high launch, it was 16.2, but again, very consistent in its ball flight. Spin number again, really decent spin number. So that launch with that spin, really good combination. As I said, the ball flight, I could see again, it was high, 38 yards in terms of peak height, and that carry distance of 247. Again, once again, just look at the consistency in the performance across the board. Uh, best carry distance, what was right up there at 258, which is right up there which, uh, with as good as I can achieve with driver. They're my best numbers, um, without doubt. Go back and look at the sort of... Uh, the history of my driver reviews and I don't do anything if I can achieve that 260 carry it's a massive drive for me um, my assessment like I said there back in hitting the things was uh, hitting the balls was without seeing the data this golf club is long the spin number now that we've seen is very low in in, in a spin number all the data that was captured was consistent what more can I say really? I think, think uh, the, the club has reviewed itself and the data has sort of backed it up and uh, for me it's really, Srixen have come up with something here that is a real, um, well it puts it, like I said with the irons, it puts it right in the mix. If you are considering any new product right now then you have to consider this driver as well uh, as part of, like I said, you've got the Ping, Titleist, Callaway, TaylorMade. They're the probably the names we'd, we'd more likely to go to when we're looking at driver but seriously this Rickson driver has got to be considered as well and uh, it's a real real good performer I'd like to get this out on the course and match it up against my G400 Max to be honest with you because uh, the one thing that I also liked about it and I didn't talk about was the sound or feel however you want to ter term that um, but again loved how it felt off the club face as well so massive massive thumbs up for me on this Strixon driver a real real winner and uh, if you are considering buying a driver then like i said make sure you stick this one in as a potential option for you anyway that's it review over i will see you very soon